Palmerston North Showgrounds. That's the sound of Sosban Fark, one of the very famous Welsh rugby songs echoing across the stadium here as we welcome this game between Wales and Tonga this afternoon in weather conditions that will be fine with a moderate westerly breeze. And for this match, Tonga send in a team today that varies in five places from that which played Canada in Napier. The left winger today will be Manu Bunipolo, who replaces the injured Soani Asi. And Sally Amoni comes in at fly half and replacing Alamoni Liava'a. In the forwards, Malu Felice is the new number eight. And the lock number four, Mafuiki Tuungu Fuasi, comes in for the veteran Tui Halimaka, who you remember went off hurt at Napier. The other change is, in fact, in the front row, where William Lutua comes in, the captain once again, is Faka Halvalo. Wales make six changes today, starting with Glenn Webb of Bridge End, who comes in on the right wing for Yeyan Evans. Kevin Hopkins, the centre, replaces John Devereaux. And at fly half, Jonathan Davis has rested today, allowing Malcolm Dacey to come back to a fly half international for his first time since 1984 in that position. In the forwards, the number eight is Phil Davies. Paul Mariarty switches from number eight to the flanker. Hugh Richards is in at lock, and in the front row, Tony Buchanan makes his international debut. From Southland, New Zealand, referee Dave Bishop begins this Pool 2 match in Rugby's World Cup. And uh, Tonga have made the first mistake, just a little misjudgment there, and the ball has gone over and touched the touchline, so it uh, is not out on the full. The touch stage on the far side is the other New Zealand referee, and Ke Keith Lawrence, and that's a quick glimpse of fullback. Paul Thorburn. Now out to Malcolm Dacey for his first touch of the ball. 12 is Kevin Hopkins, who's coming at the inside centre position today. And for the first time ever, Wales are playing in green jerseys. The total colours on the Welsh flag are being used today. And this is fullback uh, Tali Itiaki. So coming into the front row this time for Wales, the number one, Tony Buchanan, will have his first cap. And you see the Tongan scrum was in so much trouble against Canada, but now they've got it out to Puka Kirikahaiho, and uh, his first touch of the ball is a kick across towards right winger Vuni Polo, and Tonga look a bit sharp, they look a bit keen today. Well, I think the scrum is going to be destroyed by uh, Wales, Keith. Uh, even they got the ball back, but you could see the pressure was going on from, from Wales. Is Dave Bishop from Southland. And throwing for Tonga is Amoni Afi. Kevin Phillips with the ball. But it's a defensive penalty for a line-out infringement against the Welsh 50. This is Asele Amoni, and he is going to try for touch or try for position. Very jumpy, very nervous young player, Amoni. The fly half, number 10. The match is just two minutes old, no score. Wales playing in the green against Tonga. Number five for Wales is Hugh Richards. See the referee is playing advantage. That's Moriarty, number four. His brother is also in the team. That's Stuart Evans up to halfway. Someone's lost their boot. Pushed forward by Dacey to Webb on the right wing. And here is Malcolm Dacey, and this is his 15th international today. His first 10 caps were as a fly half. That's where he is today. Then he switched to fullback for four, and back in now for his first cap as a fly half since 1984. So, again, there's a couple of boots down there on the ground. The Tongan halfback has uh, lost his boot, and uh, I think that uh, Richard Moriarty went across and presented it. I think they're going to let him, uh, in the name of goodwill, put it on. And... Well, I think the whole law of the, if the boot comes off, uh, 
uh, the game goes on regardless of stupid. And you remember, Keith, back in the old days when there used to be about three players go down with injuries, where one of their buddies uh, put the, the boot on, it was just stupid. Yeah, this is a good thing. And there's uh, Richard uh, Moriarty with the Welsh pack. Remember, if uh, all goes to plan, New Zealand will probably meet Wales in the semi-finals of this tournament. So it's always of interest to have a look at these guys in the green today. Okay, back to Jones. Away to Dacey. Mark Ring is wearing 13 today, and Hopkins is through. Webb in, heading for the corner, but Webb is going to score the day first try again. Webb from Bridge End. He's a very bouncy character, Glenn Webb. He's on the right wing, so that's right down here where the line-out was. But he came in and joined outside after the good break by number 12, Kevin Hopkins. And there you see Webb looking like he's a left winger. And he ran on the corner, sold the little dummy. A few tackles were missed, and Webb in for the first try. But there was a good skip pass as Thorburn came in. Watch this pass here. There's where the gap was made. A good miss out, and in came Hopkins. Now watch the little dummy that Webb does puts them all off and goes over for the try. That's Paul Thorburn's kick. And it's hit the post again. We've had the ball hitting the post in just about every game in Rugby World Cup 87. This is the little dummy pass from Webby. He had a man outside him. If he had been tackled, he would have, uh, I'm sure, got a burst from, the, from uh, one of the coaches. But the try was scored. Good work there from the hooker too, Phillips, uh, who, who got the ball back to his halfback. That's early at the mono, he's kicked and that's a, again inexperience on the part of the Tongans. They've kicked it straight to Hugh Richards and the Welsh team up Highland. There's a theory about the Tongan team that uh, though they played on Sunday against uh, Canada, uh, the, the, there's a theory that they, they'll go much better today because it wasn't a Sunday. The, the, the Tongan players are deeply religious. Tonga played their first game in this uh, tournament on a Sunday, and regardless of getting permission from their government to play on Sunday, they'll be feeling much happier, it's felt to be playing on a day other than than the Sabbath and uh, one feels that uh, they may go better there is a feeling that they may improve on their performance because uh, Sunday for them of course is a very traditional and devoted day of prayer and the family so out into the backs this time Number eight today for Wales is Phil Davis. They see. The Welsh today are playing a club combination at fly half and half eight, Dacey and Jones. This, of course, was a traditional Welsh uh, treatment of the uh, half back and fly half position. They call it scrum half pairings. They had the great pairs like uh, John and Edwards, Barry John and Gareth Edwards from Cardiff, uh, Rex Willis and Cliff Morgan. Now Jones and Dacey. They don't generally do it now, but they used to do it all the time. Well, it's not a bad idea either, uh, Keith. A lot of. Uh... Uh, selectors uh, do that when they're picking sides if they don't know the players. Talai for Peter. A fullback is Tali Etiaki. That's a Stuuta, the uh, flanker. Carried on here by Malo Felice. Now, out to the Tong team today. They are looking better today and sharper. They're putting it on the Welsh at the moment. Number one is Lutua, the prop forward, having his first appearance in the World Cup. 
coming again for Talai Fafita. Away, the thought of the drop call was in Amone's mind. Fafita again, Daisy's got it off him. Jones, away to Paul Thorburn, there's the big boomer from Thorburn. And that's relieved things for Wales up to halfway. Good kick by Thorburn, but good play by the Tongan 15. Very good, Keith. Uh, the Tongan side really looked like uh, footballers, and they were giving the ball back so well to the halfback, Fafita. And do their confidence no end of good as well. This is the man that made the headlines in uh, Welsh rugby this year when he got uh, punched by Wade Dooley in the match against England. Untidy for Tonga at scrum time. They really have problems in the scrum. They made a few changes, but they don't look too much better there. And now here is a chance for Wales. Thorburn brought forward and now he's going for the corner flag and strokes the ball nicely down to inside the 22 Paul Thorburn who's today having his 10th cap for the Welsh rugby. Out into the backs again, Dacey, Ring, Hopkins. Now he ran into big trouble from Puka Kitika Haiho. Good tackle, but here's Ring again, who scored the try against Ireland. Kicking for Webb. And the try's been given. And uh, you can see the Tongans aren't happy about it. Woody Paula wasn't happy, but that's two for Webb. One in each corner in the first few minutes of the match. Here it comes out along the back line again. There was a crash here between Hopkins and Puka Kirikahaiho, but uh, quickly picked up by Paul Moriarty, who made the break, out to ring, and then the kick for the corner, and look at Vunipola coming across and cover defence and Webb, and as they crashed at the corner, well, uh, it was partially obscured, but the touch judge there agreed that it was a try, uh, uh, Hilditch of uh, Ireland, and the try has been awarded. This is a beautiful kick, though, but watch the way that Webb takes it on his fingertips, and he knows where the corner flag is, and there's the tackle from Vunapolu, but he did score it. You can see, and you can see Mr. Hildreth, the line umpire, right there on the scene. Here it is right from our behind the line camera, and we'll get a tremendous view, and as he was tackled, he rolled over, and there's the ball down, and there were his feet and the corner flag. <laughs> well, make up your mind, Graham. <laughs> Yes, that's a hard one because the, the legs were swinging over. Thorburn with the conversion attempt. Fine kick. There's Steve Hildridge. He was right on the spot, though, wasn't he, Keith? And uh, he looked at the referee. He said it was a try, and fair enough, it's been given. So two tries to Glenn Webb of Bridgend, who's playing on the right wing for Wales. One conversion by this man, Paul Thorburn, and it's 10-0 to Wales. Yes, in a situation like that, the touch judge has uh, just has to make an instant decision. So does the referee. They awarded the try. Pitch towards the back. Up goes number six, Talai to Uta. And the line umpire on the other side is uh, Keith Lawrence, who got into all sorts of bother on Saturday with Campiti's try. Perhaps if he'd looked at the line umpire, it might have been different. That's good line-out ball for Tonga, fast anyway. 
And uh, Booker, who's the crash ball, especially to have a go, ripped away from Daisy. That's the second time Daisy's done that in the game so far. Kicked on by Lutua. Hakatoa, Tupo coming through, and uh, Tonga getting very close to the to scoring here. And it's a five metre scrum. The two props for Tonga there. Guliami Lutua and Hakatoa Tupo involved in the play there. And this is a good position now for the Tongan team. Now they've got problems with their scrum, so they need a quick heel here. Amoni Apu. Half back is Talai Papita. He scored against Wales last year up at Nukualofa. So Wales lead by 10 to nil, but Tonga putting them again under a bit of heat near the line. It's the Tongan ball again. It's got to be quick ball too, Keith. They can't muck around with that good Welsh scrum. Yeah, there it is now. It's gone through onto the Welsh side defensive penalty offside play there by Tapaleti to Uta, the flanker. Daisy hasn't found the line. Charge in from Etiaki, the fullback. They're very close again to the corner flag, but lost forward. Well, look at Tonga go in the last few minutes, and to Uta, uh, it crosses the line, but it's not awarded. There was a knock-on from the kick by Tali Etiaki, the fullback. Phil Davis in the back, Robert Jones the halfback. Daisy. Full marks to the Tongan side. They are playing above themselves. They're really putting the Welsh under pressure. I'm only up with the hooker. Good work by Hakatoa Tupo. They've got it. It was awkward, of course, but uh, Talai for Peter. Good one to Amoni. Taken in there by the centre, Sami Mohi. But Wales going forward, you see, uh, they get the put in. side is William Lutua for Tonga. He's against Stuart Evans. This is Jones. They see the little pop kick into space. Kutusi Fialea, the winger number 11. Talai Fafita nicely off the floor. This is Fuka. To Uta, that's good flank forward play and they're driving on. Well, Tonga looking more like it today. Out into the backs now. Fuka to Amoni. This is Mohi, number 13. Baka Haubalo, the captain, is there. Good play by Tonga. Well, that's got their blood boiling a bit. They're really uh, looking much more like an international side this afternoon. However, they're down by 10 points to nil. Two tries to Glenn Weber, conversion to Thorburn. I wasn't there uh, on the first game, Keith, you were, and this is a different Tongan side. They've uh, really lifted the game, haven't they? Yes, indeed, they have. They're playing very well indeed, and that's a chance to have a look at the second 5 putting his boot on. And this is really the vital man in the Tongan team, Fuka Kitika Haiho, and as I mentioned up at uh, uh, Napier against Canada, he plays uh, most of his rugby in the last few years in Wellington. He's uh, studying for a Master of Science degree at Victoria University in Wellington, hopes to finish it later this year. And uh, he's the father of six children. And uh, Fuka is the vital man in the Tongan backline because he has the experience of playing in a pretty good class of football and can take the crash ball. And if they can work off him as they uh, have done so, then uh, they could make something for themselves today, the Tongan team. Kevin Hopkins. Talai Fafita. 
Now they're going to have trouble at scrum time. That's Tapaleti to Uta. Remember, he's the one that's easier to recognize because of the distinctive coloring of his hair. Tapaleti to Uta, number six. Yeah, that scrum, there's some uh, funny positioning in that uh, Tongan scrum, but uh, they're pretty brave, stout-hearted lads. There is the man we're talking about, Fuka Kitikahaya, going for the crash ball. Out to Etiaki, kicking for the right winger. Gunipola, who, remember, was the, came across in cover defence when Wales scored their second try. Now, how are the Tongans doing here? Talai Fafita, away to Tali Etiaki, the fullback. Sami Mohi gets Webb, but the pass is away to Hopkins. No, it's uh, Headley. Man, look at this Tongan team go. Underdogs against the mighty Welsh, and they're really playing like champions at the moment. They've got the Welsh on the back foot at the moment, and they're really playing well. Uh, their scrum, of course, is going to tell in the, in the end. They've, they're playing with the wind. They've got to get some points. Technically, the Tongan scrum is not good. But if they can get quick hooks like that and maybe just hold, they're doing okay at the moment. And this is really a great thrill to see Tonga go so well. That's Faka Haubalu, their very stout-hearted captain. And I think that might have been accidentally offside when he collided with another of his players, so they've lost the advantage of the put-in. But he's going well today, Tonga's captain. I think it's pointless in trying to keep the ball in the scrum key. It should be quick hooks. Because with the scrums the way they are, Tonga can't afford to have the scrum in for a long time because they're going to be pushed back and uh, use up uh, the energy for the second half. Here's little Robert Jones in there now. Uh, he's the Swansea man at halfback. That's Stuart Evans, the big burly prop. Let's see how Tonga goes here. It's a loose ball. See that diving in, giving it the full commitment today. And the web, he had to hurry it out. Glenn Webb, uh, his parents came from St. Kitts uh, in the Caribbean, but he's actually born in Cardiff, and as I said, the first black player capped for Wales, and he's looking good today. Hakato Tupo at the front, he's been getting two or three good deflections. Got one again there, out to Puka, out to Sami, out to Etiaki. Near the 22. Okay, Talai for Peter. Hakatoa did a little uh, war dance on the spot. Look, they're, they're still in possession, I think. Now, that's uh, big Stuart Evans, and uh, he looks like he'd be uh, fun to be in an all-in wrestling match with. Oh, 110 kilograms. It's a lot of lard. Wales leading Tonga okay. by 10 points to nil. See, the Welsh scrum is very much more solid. Lovely pass from Jones. Daisy to Webb. To Uta made the tackle. That's Paul Moriarty who switched on to the flank. Good passing by, by Wales. Intercept here. Okay, up to Mark Ring. Here they go again, this is Phil Davis. Wales are opening it up here this time. That's Hugh Richards, number five. Now it's the Tongan, 22. Malcolm Dacey was taking the late tackle way back a long, long time ago. But he's up and back in the game again. Talai for Peter. Webb. And, oh no, he got away from his opposite. Glenn Webb. Look at that for a good tackle. Oh, and the nice little touch there from the man, the prop forward. Lutu who pats him on the leg after he tackles him and now Mark Ring is going to play very sensibly and put it out <laughs> well number one <laughs> Billy Amo Lutu I thought that was very nice did you see that grab he tackled the man a beautiful tackle and pats him on the leg as if to say sorry pal and then he collapsed <laughs> oh, this, is a, this is good boisterous stuff from both teams at the moment just that late tackle uh, on Dacey, uh, 
about uh, at the start of that uh, move. You might see it now. Uh, it was uh, held up here. And it was good play, actually, by Wales. They turned it round. So we can see it coming in, out now. We hope it'll come out to the fly half, which is Daisy here. Now, I think the, uh, the replay, this is good work by Wales. Watch the way, the support, Davis, the support of, from the players turning in. That was Roberts. And it's all control from the Welsh. And so this is Malcolm Dacey. Played against the New Zealand Maoris for the Welsh 15 in 1982, so the Maori team members will remember him. Amoni Afu, and that's a good take by Toonga Fassi. Puka Kirikahaiho. Corburn. Look at that, Tauta, he's over there really quick. have met uh, once before in an international that was a year ago in Nukualofa when Wales went on a uh, tour around the Pacific playing Fiji, Western Samoa and Tonga. The Wales-Tonga match in 1986 was uh, a very, very torrid affair. The last match between Wales and Tonga was won by Wales by 16 to 7. So Tonga competed pretty well in that one. But there was one heck of a fight at one stage in the game. Here's Gareth Roberts. Daisy. Just harking back to that match in Nukualofa last year. There was a very, very big uh, punch-up at one stage down in the in-goal area, and two of the Welsh players were taken right out of the game by the Tongans, and the Welsh really were very, very frightened uh, at the ground, so I'm told. So Jones now out to Kevin Hopkins. This is Paul Moriarty. That's the halfway line. That's uh, brother Dick. Gone down to Bunipola. Jones covering back. That reminds me a bit of Mark Donaldson, who played so many games on this ground. He used to drop back for the high kick. The same colours, uh, the green and the white. Well, the Tonga team are keeping it going. They really are. It's the only way that they're going to have a chance in this game is to just keep the ball moving. Uh, do things that the Welsh aren't expecting them to do, like quick throw-ins, uh, and play sort of a skittery type of rugby, and not have a pattern game. Well, they couldn't hope to take on Wales in a pattern game, as Wales, of course, have to do for them. They've got to get the set pieces going. The line-outs are still a shambles. In fact, the last line-out, uh, the last eight-man line-out, uh, no one jumped off the ground. But once again, we have these injuries. As we said yesterday, Keith, uh, just goes on and on one wonders whether the players aren't fit or whether the uh, the games are just a little bit tough for them or the standard is too high i don't know i think there's no doubt the players are fit graham it's uh, perhaps uh, they're throwing themselves into the commitment uh, with the uh, extreme vigor and so they're they're hurting when they go down two tries to nil wales lead on a sunny afternoon at the palmerston north showgrounds and the match will resume Real Swansea combination in the back row with uh, Paul Moriarty and his halfback Robert Jones. There's Daisy. Here goes uh, Evans again. Yeah. 
I think the theory that uh, Tongans play better away from Sundays certainly has been proved correct. They are a much different side today playing on a Friday than they were against Canada. This is midway 22 and halfway. Kevin Phillips. Oh, good little dummy. He's got Roberts with him. Back to Moriarty. Brother near number six, Paul Moriarty. The charge is on again, Hugh Richards. Evans, one hands it back. Dacey. That's uh, Tony Buchanan, the uh, front row prop forward. Referee's got his hand out, you see. And that's a penalty for Wales. heard that from uh, Dave Bishop uh, it was a reference to hands in the ruck and so here is a penalty shot for Wales I thought that uh, Kevin Phillips the hooker was running like a back there and in fact I think he gave the ball out on the left but he could have run a bit further because because he gave it uh, to Roberts and Roberts was tackled immediately but we can see the complete uh, different approach from the two teams the Welsh who are playing so tight close to their chest rolling off each other they know they've got control up front rather the uh, Tongan side have to really feed off the scraps of the loose ball well the Palmerston North people are certainly supporting Rugby World Cup here today on a Friday good crowd here at the showgrounds open One went over from the sideline, one went uh, and hit the post and bounced away. <laughs> so Paul Thorburn puts Wales out to a lead by 13 points to nil. Twenty-seven minutes gone in the first half. And in the background, you see the city area of Palmerston North. Asaeli <laughs> Amone starting the match again. Thirteen points to nil. Two tries, one conversion, and one penalty. Well, it was all on for something tricky for Mark Ring, but he dropped the ball at the 22. smile on, on the face of uh, Moriarty the captain as he dropped the ball it was a, a free catch basically for Richard 12 minutes to go till half time now can the Tongans get some of their momentum back that's Talai for Peter that's the number eight forward Felice Fuka touchdown well they're getting up on attack again so uh, for the sake of the game, let's hope Tonga can continue to put that pressure on Wales. It was a really interesting game when they did that. Another, I think Fuka has lost both boots now. He's gone to the sideline, so the game will continue. So this is the Welsh captain, Richard Moriarty. He's uh, 
playing today his 18th international and he's been all over the scrum just about uh, in his time for Wales he's had uh, nine internationals as a lock three as a number eight and uh, the remainder as a uh, as a blindside flanker let's have a look at Moriarty there you see him towards the left there number four and and uh, looks like a collision there between uh, two of the players Moriarty was when he had a, uh, an eye scratched in the previous game that's not a good kick Twenty two meters line there. Ah, a penalty for Tonga. There's a good chance for them here. It looks like they will get the three points, but I think they've got to take it more to Wales. They shouldn't kick when they've got possession, because unless the kicks are good, which they haven't been, and they're contested. They're just throwing away possession and they cannot afford to throw away the possession they get, which is not going to be that much. This is Tony Buchanan there. You see him. He's a very cheerful me member of the Welsh touring party and they're very pleased to award him his uh, first test cap today against Tonga. He was a reserve all of the season in the Five Nations Championship. couldn't kick a goal in the first match against Canada and they're on the board with one in Palmerston North Asa Ali Imoni has put them on the board and the gap reduced to 10 points Out here at the Farmers North showgrounds have indicated that they're very firmly in favor of the Tongan team in the red. And here they try the David Kirk trick. Well, look at that. You see, the kick went out of the full, so they raced the halfway looking for the quick throw in. So it looks like that could be uh, a, a vogue move, Graham Thorne. Yes, but now all the other sides uh, know about it and they're not going to get caught uh, more than once. Nine minutes to go to halftime. Another tight hit for Kevin Phillips. Dacey caught a good tackle by the man that kicked the penalty goal just a moment ago for Tonga. Robert Jones running the narrow side. And that's efficient play by the Welsh team. And another player injured. This is Faka Halvalu, the captain. And they won't uh, want to, uh, to lose this guy. Faka Halvalu made his debut for his country back in 1973. And I talked about this game the other day when he played uh, in the second test against uh, Australia at Ballymore. The Australians put out their usual uh, hot shot the lineup. And Tonga had lost the first test to when uh, Australia had won by 30 to 12, I think it was. Tonga came out and won the second test and was the biggest upset. Uh, I think at the time they said it was the biggest upset in the history of uh, international rugby. Tonga hadn't been to Australia before and they beat them in the second test. And uh, that was the day that uh, Valu made his debut That's in that series. And uh, 14 years later, he's still going strong. two flags of the two countries playing this pool two rugby world cup match and so that's the goal line there and the Tongans are stacked up now against their own line. And uh, when this happens, it looks inevitable that points will come.
pitched towards the back. Moriarty to Evans. He didn't look really full of commitment there in his charge, Evans. Buchanan, number one. That's the goal line in behind. I think Tonga's got possession in there, have they not? No, no, it's uh, Gareth Roberts. Oh, well done, Tonga. They've driven them back for the second time. OK, this time Evans. He's lost it. Scrum awarded, Tonga and ball. Good. Great stuff by Tonga. Good play, Tonga, because it looked as if uh, Wales had it completely in control. Tell that for Peter. They want the big hook here. No holding in the back, really. Seven minutes to go in the first half. Wales leading Tonga by 13 points to three. Look at that, that uh, big green wave just crashing through the reds. Talai for Peter. He's cleared it right up towards the 10 metre mark. This is Thorburn. High ball. A big lock forward. Tunga Fassi under. Hopkins. And cleared away again by Bruni Paula. Their great survivors are the Tongans. The waves are coming from the green-shirted Welsh, but they're being repulsed by the red shirts. So what are we going to see here from the Welsh team? Could be a drop kick, could be a forward charge. Ah, oh, Phillips. I don't think he went uh, to the plan, but he's still going. This is Gareth Roberts. Dacey, Hopkins, Davis, Jones, kicking for the corner, and a good pass by Ring, sees Adrian Hadley score. Pressure here for the last few minutes. Good little kick by Jones, nice pick up by Ring, and quick hands by Ring. You see, number 13, Mark Ring, right on the goal line, flicked it straight on, and Hadley went in unopposed. Hadley's fifth try for Wales, and here's how it happened. Nice kick by uh, Jones for the corner, and from the end on, see Ring smartly across to Hadley. That'll be some consolation to Adrian Hadley because he was one of the players that was decked in the match at Nukualopa last year and had to be carried off. Thorburn from the sideline. So uh, Hadley, that's, uh, as I say, his fifth try. Yes, he was taken off the... the field in the match at Nukualofa and they had to replace him and uh, that was as a result of that uh, big scrap that took place so some uh, consolation for him the try scored 17 points to three man in front no it was a re-kick he says Try by Hadley was unconverted. Paul Moriarty. A bit of vigor there in that run. That's Buchanan. Offside play by Tonga. Important for the Tongans to get their uh, act together. They go very well as a, as a team, a unit. They like that uh, as a people. 
They like to be with each other. And uh, that's their strongest point uh, of value on the rugby field as well. So Tong have had their moments in the first half. Talai Fafita gets it back to Amone. And uh, he's had a good uh, first half. He replaced Leova, who played at uh, Napier against Canada. 24, 26. That's the halfway line. Kevin Phillips throws. Comfortable ball for Moriarty to Evans. To Roberts on the charge. Jones, Dacey, Ring. That one's uh, too wide. This is Mark Ring, who had injury problems, Mr season two seasons because of problems he now plays with a pin in his knee so this is a great comeback for him well tonga have done well on the line outs in the first half and is that one out in the full yes it is you know tonga are leading in the line-out count by 11 to 9. Shame they've wasted a few with kicks like that that went out in the full. And Graham Thorne, you still subscribe to your theory they should be running it around by hand? Yes, they're not going to score points if they kick the ball away. 72. 18, 72. Down to Phil Davis, awkward tap. Okay, nicely picked up. Good break. All support from Felice. Here they go, the Tongans. Mutua. The Hakato. Look at the two props here charge along. Woody Pola, the winger. Out to Itiaki. That's the goal line. Coming for the Tongans again. Fuka to Uta. He's got there. Kutusi Fialea scores Thomas' first try today. Well, what a good one it was. Well, this is a classic example of the Tongan team who like to play together because they like each other's company. Look at this as a team try. The two props and the hooker get in action here. Look at them. 2-1-3. The whole front row charging along. It gets a wee bit ragged. In goes winger Buni Polo, who then frees it up for the backs. A good little charge here by Etiaki. He really put it on the Welsh. And it keeps coming to the left. Fuka further out to, to Uta. And then the winger Fialea. And he swung over. And Fialea is the scorer. Well, I don't know, Graham, I don't make the rules, but that one might qualify for the top tries competition. That was a beauty. And there's the man that got it, Kutusi Fiala, 21 years of age. Conversion attempt from Asaele Amone. And right on half time, here is another look at the try that will have all of Tonga singing at the moment. Look at the charge from Etiaki, the fullback. And it keeps coming further away to the left. This is the thing about these tries. This is a team try, and he made it a bit difficult for himself, Fialea. But watch the way he turns over, and down he goes for the try. And that is the best team try of the tournament so far, Keith. Half time at the Palmerston North Showgrounds. Back live at the Palmerston North Showgrounds, and uh, some drama in the Welsh camp as their big burly prop Stuart Evans limps off the field he's got obviously a problem with his ankle he had some bother with it at training yesterday but more famously he had some bother with it the day before Wales played Scotland at uh, Murrayfield this year and he limped away from that game and the Welsh team went into the international against Scotland without Evans and uh, he uh, proved to be a uh, real pillar because he um, 
he really anchored the scrum and this they went back with so uh, the result was that the scrum went backwards with alarming speed in the match against Scotland and the people there said that uh, they'd never seen a Welsh scrum go back so so quickly now this is Blackmore Stephen Walter Blackmore from Cardiff now the thing about here is about uh, the fourth prop in the Cardiff club and he came in when Evans was injured uh, earlier in the season and now he gets another cap for the second half here against Toka. So the second 40 minutes begins here in Palmerston North. And Wales in the green today, uh, leading by 17 to 7. And there is Stephen Blackmore, who's come on as a replacement at halftime for Stuart Evans. He's the young man who's uh, expecting a call from home any day now to tell him of uh, an arrival in the family, a new baby coming for the Blackmores. But uh, meanwhile, across the world, he's uh, taken the field for his second international cap against Tonga he was the man that uh, attended just one Welsh training camp but when he was called into the Welsh team he was really a real unknown Jones big pass out to Hadley the two wingers there in the same side of the scrum so that's an interesting variation from the Welsh but they've lost it forward it's got a lovely pair of, a, pair of hands as Webb he really is a, a talented looking footballer to me Keith you can see him there no wonder he's so talented he's got gloves on Keith that's interesting I've not seen that for a long time I certainly haven't seen it on a on a on a fine day uh, playing with a pair of gloves on the uh, I've seen it before I think Alan Houston and the boys used to do it on really cold days uh, for the All Blacks a few years ago but and uh, Earl, Earl Curtin used to, to wear them occasionally and Uni used to also uh, have uh, an aid in his pocket. Uh, it's a, it's a resin. resin in his pockets. So as anything goes to help you play a better game. I wonder what those gloves are. Do you think they're the equivalent of what the soccer goalkeepers use? So this is Moriarty. Captain of the Welsh team. And there they go again. Hugh Richards locking with him. Man just having his second international. Thomas are warming a man up on the sideline as well. So Webb, I don't think he had those gloves on in the first half, right? unless I didn't read it right. He's put them on at half time. Davis, Jones. So it's Amoni Apu to throw. Wales leading by 17 to 7. Four minutes, second half. To Ungafasi is number four. He made the jump. That's a clearance from the first five eight, Asa El Aboni. Oh. 
this is a sad sight for Tonga because this is the man who played such a vital part on their lovely try just before time. Hekatoa Tupo is leaving the field. Jerry Fletcher, the trainer, the American man who trains with the Tonga team on the right. And uh, Hakatoa is leaving the field. Oh, look at this man. He's a real tough-looking character. Latu Vaino. And he's just itching to get on and get into these Welshmen. Again, regime. 17 points to 7, the Welsh lead. I'm starting to think that this is not a very complete performance by the Welsh. They've got to do a lot better than this. Let's see how they go. Oh, collision, and that's probably the uh, exemplification of a few of the blunders that the Welsh have made. Thorburn collides with Dacey. Down goes Dacey. Look at this. They haven't been going too well, Barry McGordon. This is terrible here. They can do all sorts of bother with a double dummy switch move, and there it is. They, they run into each other. And that's one of the, again, one of the funniest things I've seen on the, rug, on the rugby field. Well, I tell you what, it looked funny at the time, but it's not funny for for Malcolm Dacey. It just goes to show that the the best moves are the simple ones, Keith. They had uh, a double on there with the fly half running around the second five, and the winger coming in as a decoy, and the fullback coming through as well. And it turned out that the fly half doing the dummy ran into the fullback coming through with a short pass. <laughs> well, if it's as complicated as your explanation, Graham, it must have been complicated. But uh, that was really. Terrible, and I think the, T the Tongan team, uh, uh, they're, they're really buoyed up at the moment. OK, they're behind on the board, as you see, but uh, the Welsh aren't going too good here. Here they go, you see. Talai Fafita. Well, Tonga, aren't they having a great time here today? Pushing the Welsh pack there. Now, here they go again. Amonu Asaeli. Oh, it's a wild sort of a kick. But look where it's gone! Oh. And they want the ball to throw it as well, Tonga. But that was a, a, a very silly kick, but it, it came right for them. Momentum is a great thing in rugby. If you can get momentum, you can do anything. And they've got momentum, they've got the ball here off their Welsh throw in. Tonga are really having a go here. Let's see which way Dave Bishop signals. Uh, uh, defensive put in well. I thought Moriarty knocked it on, actually knocked it forward, but he took it. He had this shot in the first half with uh, looking along the goal line, but now it's the Welsh who are stacked up. Graham Thorne told you earlier he felt the, the Tongan team should uh, attack in the skittery phases of play, and that's just what they're doing. And it's proving itself to be successful because I think this Welsh team has bustled. Here is a standoff between the replacement player who's come onto the field, Latu Baeno. Keep your mind on the game, said uh, referee Bishop. Uh, there's going to be a penalty. It's uh, interesting, the referee saying to the front rows, keep your mind on the, on the game and think about it. <laughs> Talking about uh, our giraffes yesterday, what would you call a, a front row? Would it be a, a, a crate of front rows, Keith? <laughs> Something like that. There's some real uh, roly polies in the Welsh squad. And uh, with uh, Vaino coming in, he's a real uh, five by five as well. Six minutes gone, second half. Wales in the green today for the first time in a full international. They played in green when Tonga toured England back in 74, toured to the United Kingdom in 74, but that was only a, a Welsh 15. Alemoni's had a good uh, match at first five today. 
Henry's coming back with that excellent try that Thomas scored just before half time. Two tries to the Welsh, one to Tonga. Robert Jones, back to Dacey. Let's kick this one to midfield. The flanker is out there in midfield to Uta. And this is Tali Etiaki. He's outside the 22 and he kicked that one. Paul Moriarty made the catch. Okay, Paul Thorburn opening it up. It's gone past ring to Dacey. Webb in support. Luke to the prop forward. Out to Tonga again. Talai Kafita kicked that. He should have run that one. I think there was a big, big lineup outside him. And the Welsh are now just going to kick it back to touch. Okay. It's out there. And a quick throw in by Wales. They're going to try to uh, put the pressure on by increasing the tempo, perhaps. Jones, Gareth Roberts. Fafita made the tackle. And a penalty to Wales. A handy position, this one. With the eight minutes gone in the second half. This is just what Tonga didn't want, was to lose that momentum. The uh, kicking uh, from that front from Fafita, and then Thorburn with that big kick, and then it went into touch, and uh, Wales up the tempo, as you say, Keith, and now the penalty. And it's just little things like that that can change a game, as we saw in that, not that the All Blacks were going to get beaten by Italy, but that uh, knock on goal, and... Uh, Suddenly it changes. Well, that's a bad miss for Thorburn across the front. So no change. 17 to 7. We haven't seen a big kick landed by uh, Paul Thurban in New Zealand as yet. in front of him Bill Davis and then Paul Moriarty who was number eight in Wales Ireland on Monday Tommy getting one out ball still Talai Fafita Moni Asaeli the line outs are still being shared equally quick throw in here Jones, Dacey, the ring, Thorburn up, but he didn't have much of a stomach for that one, uh, Thorburn. That was a hospital pass, wasn't it, Keith? <laughs> he got the ball and the player at the same time. This Tong and Pack has worked very, very well indeed. They've shared the lineouts at the moment with the best that Wales can offer at the moment. They've uh, scrummed, scrummaged bravely, even though they are well out. Lineup has got his flag up across the far side. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll come back and take the line. Okay. Oh, I see it's it's up, not out. Uh, somebody was across uh, the, the touchline, so they're going to go back and start again with the lineout. You get a funny feeling in your. Uh, Stomach these days, Graham Thorne, when the lineup guys put their flags up. Yes, <laughs> there's been a few of them uh, in the last few games. Uh, I know Roger Quinton has got a lot of uh, hurry up from the crowd at Lancaster Park for some of his. Phillips throws back on the tongue inside. The untidy for Talai Fafita. 
Richard Moriarty, that's awkward for Jones. He's a good little player, though. He made uh, that's good work from Jones. Here's Ring. Loose ball to Uta, who's an extra back. Down towards the 22, Hadley's down on it. Kick the hit nicely. Oh my word, this time the team are going well, but there was a knock on in there. The Welsh backs don't seem to know what to do. They uh, get the ball out uh, to Hopkins or Ring, and he just runs into the uh, opposing defence. I suppose after that shambles in midfield, they're not came to play uh, many tricky moves. Well, scrum in defence. Robert Jones. Daisy. Daisy and Jones playing together for the first time in an international this afternoon. This, this match. See, the Tongans only got six forwards in there. They've got to Uta back out in the backs. Referee Bishop refereeing the other side from the put in. Tight head to Phillips. Away. Jones. They see the back of the Welsh half still. Tali Itiaki right down the throat. That's one they call room service. You don't have to go far to get it. And really the Welsh backs are most unimpressive. Not passing well, their moves haven't come off, and they've kicked a lot of possession away. And you can see that uh, Webb uh, raising his hands in uh, gestures of exasperation. And things aren't going well for the Welsh 15 at the moment. Put in has been lost from Tonga across to the Welsh. Phil Davis in the back. Robert Jones. Good catch by Etiaki. Tali Etiaki. A name uh, unknown in New Zealand uh, before the World Cup. Oh, my word, he's a brave fullback. Got tremendous anticipation as well, Keith, especially with that kick uh, just a few minutes ago. Great sevens player. Flurry of arms and legs. The Tongans retire as the penalty has gone against them. Tongans are using this man, Tapaletti Tuuta, as a really a roving back. He has uh, only taken part in a few pushes from the scrums, and the rest of the time he's standing out in midfield just to, uh, to keep that defence secure in the midfield. Sixteen minutes gone, second half. There's been no change since half-time. And now Thorburn has added the extra points to make Wales now 20 and Tonga 7. So that's a pretty good effort by Thorburn. He's just raised 100 points for Wales and 10 internationals. So 
He is averaging pretty highly for the Welsh 15. Jones, Daisy. Nicely struck kick by Malcolm Daisy. With him, Mark Ring. Well, I think the people who are enjoying this match most today might be the Canadian team down south because Tonga have competed very much more vigorously today than they did against Canada. And that might be of some relief to the Canadian team. Jones, Dacey, Thorburn up and in. Ring. It's only about three-quarter pace, though. And Webb was blocked. They were actually running out of room. They had too many players in the too confined a space there. And they weren't. They're just not running uh, straight enough. And they just don't seem to be doing the right things, the Welsh backs. There's no comparison, Graham Thorne, with what the, uh, what the French did at Wellington in that dreadful win yesterday. They were sharp, snappy, but this was all done at uh, slow pace. And, uh, well, this might not tell us because it's slow anyway, but uh, they weren't looking impressive or sharp. There was no way that that was ever going to be a try, yet right at the start it looked like there could be an overlap, but they were just so slow and they went across field too much that they just ran out of room. One of the impressive things about the French passing in their match uh, was uh, the fact that they could pass the ball quickly along the chain on the blind side. Two or three passes and an overlap to Le Gisquet. Well, there's been injuries on both sides. Malcolm Dacey, I think that might have been that collision uh, back with Thorburn. Dacey here and Puka Kirikahaya was a strong uh, collision between the two. And... Uh, Looks like Dacey, as a result, is going to leave the field. So Paul Moriarty. This is just a 10 metres out from the Tongan line. Welsh are signalling they want to get their new man on and it's going to be bonus time for the big crowd here at the showgrounds because they're going to get to see one of the superstars of world rugby Jonathan Davis play quick throw and take it Moriarty with the ball, Blackmore number 19, the replacement for Evans. Coming on, Phillips, Jones, Jonathan Davis in. He's uh, taken time out to fall over. Phillips. Wales still looking stodgy in their play in the second half. Oh, that's a shame. Referee Bishop signalling for the Welsh put in, but uh, the replacement prop forward. But Eno had to wrestle the ball clear. We'll now see what Wales can do with the scrum. It might make a difference with Jonathan Davis on now. He's got a very big blind on the right, and uh, he's got Webb out of the picture while wide out there. Jones. And on the field, over for the try, and the whistle's gone. Forward pass. Forward pass, no try. The man that's impressed me in this Welsh side is Robert Jones, the halfback. He, he's the one who's got a very big pass. He's the only one of them. And there he is, uh, got a knock there as he went through. See the way he just keeps on running, keeps on running. There's the tackle from Amoni. And there's Jonathan Davis in front of the ball carrier. Tongan front row, front row, Maniafu, and to the left, the replacement player, Latu Vaino. The other prop forward 
is Viliame Lutua. Remember, the whole Tongan front row was in the charge that led to their marvellous try just before half time to their winger, Fialau. Three quarters of the match over on a sunny afternoon at Palmerston North. Once again, the Rugby World Cup has had excellent luck with the weather. No rain, I think. I'm correct in saying no rain has fallen on any of the matches yet. We had some dreadful showers before the opening game a week ago in Auckland, but it stayed away during the playing of the match, and it's stayed away since. He really is an amazing talent, this Jonathan Davis. When he played in the Wellington Breeze last Monday, it was a superb performance that gained... Uh, great praise for him from sports writers all over the world. Let's see if he can spark this Welsh backline in the last 20 minutes. Fafita to Webb. Glenn Webb, good tackle by Amoni Asa Ali. Fuka's got the ball. Sadly lost forward. Some of the tackles that the Tongans are pulling off are really bone-crushing ones. And there, when, when Webb went, went through, he got up a bit of speed, but suddenly he just stopped as if he'd been shot. Well, there's uh, Glenn Webb, who was involved in the strong run and the collision. Now, the story about the gloves is that uh, he plays gridiron football. Glenn Webb is also a gridiron player, and those are the gloves that are used by American footballers. So that's the reason Glenn Webb uses those uh, gloves. He didn't use them in the first half, but he's put them on for his own particular reasons. It was a strong run by Webb, but I think you'll find that he gets caught in a tackle by number 10, and a good, strong tackle. As you say, Graham bone crushes the term. Nineteen minutes to play in the game. Jones, there's the big ball, out to Thorburn. Now, the big high kick, pull back under the ball. Good catch by Tali Ikiaki. Wild kick though, it's like an up and under, inside his own 22, Blackmore goes down. Colburn. Oh, another collision! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! That's two collisions in this match involving the fullback Paul Colburn. Whatever has happened to his sense of direction. The man ran into his fly half before. It could have led to him uh, going off. Now he runs into Moriarty. Look at that. Oh, dear me. That's like the Keystone Cops. second half have played like absolute novices in rugby their backs in, in particular scrum has secured another tight head they're totally dominant in that department this is phil davis gareth roberts scrabbles it off the ground jones jonathan davis the replacement Kevin Hopkins, Thorburn in this time. Hadley. Oh, and a body block by the fullback. Tali Etiaki puts him over the touchline. These Tongans are playing like brick walls at the moment. They really are. They're holding out the best of Welsh rugby in a full international. 
20 to 10 and three tries to one. Two locks and good uh, combination there to Umafasi. Again, the Welsh have it, didn't cross the touch side. Davis with the drop kick. Struck it beautifully. Oh, my word, the pass of the man. And already he's put his uh, stamp on the on the game as Jonathan Davis. It was good play by Look the Welsh. Close. It looked like it was going to go out, but then Phillips got it and watched the way that Jonathan Davis, all the time in the world to hit it, and he doesn't miss many. Very good kick indeed by Davis to make a 23-7 and struck it superbly. Jones, long ball back to Davis. Pumps it well. Just the difference between the ordinary fly half and a class fly half. The way he kicks it out, never misses the line. Moniapu, that's Hugh Richards, number five. Jones. Davis, Robert Stoplanka, midfield, lost it. Phil Davis, back in the Welsh team after missing a couple of games with that very serious cheek injury. He suffered in the big punch up against England. Fifteen minutes left. Another tight hit. That's a hatful for Kevin Phillips today. Davis, ring. That's better passing. Hadley now. But again, it's the little fly half. Asa Ele Amone who makes the tackle. Tremendous covering uh, from Amone. A fly half. He got across so quickly. There was no corner flagging at that. He was across right behind his back line and picked up Hadley. That is uh, Asa Ali Amone. And that was the result of his uh, clash. Looks like it could be a collarbone. Here's that collision, the other one between Thorburn and Moriarty again. I don't believe this, Graham. That's twice in the game that Thorburn has collided with his own teammates. They were like a couple of magnets, weren't they? Drawn towards each other. Hugh Richards takes the one at the front. So lots of drama at the moment. Facing up to each other in the field and then limping off the sad sight of number 10, Asa Ele Emoni, leaving the field. He's had a very brave and noble part in the Tongan effort today. And that's recognised by the crowd at the stadium. There's the first replacement the Tongans put on the field today. Not to but you know. This is the replacement, the second replacement on the field. Alamone Liava. Bakahalvalu. Leava, the new replacement on the field for Tonga. In they go. They haven't been over the Welsh uh, halfway, the territory, since uh, about 10 minutes ago. So they'll be keen to stay up there. It's 23 points to seven. Wales comfortably in the lead. But my word, we've seen a, a stout performance from the Tongans this afternoon.
Jones, Davis, Thorburn, Webb. Oh, look at that for a crash. The referee has got a penalised Tali Etiaki for a clone crash, and that's uh, a body check, really. And what a collision that was, a fearsome collision. Let's see what referee Bishop of New Zealand says. Look at this for Webb, who was at full tilt, and in goes Etiaki. It's not a tackle, it's a, more, oh, a collision of heads. And Webb, of course, was at full canter when he when he got the ball and he couldn't get round the back of Etiaki. And Etiaki came in as not a tackle. A tackle must be with the arms, and there's the pass from Thorburn. You can see that the speed that Webb's got up, and he's very slippery at the best of times, coming up towards Etiaki. And there it goes in there, and it was high as well. And it wasn't a tackle. As you say, Keith, it was a body check. And down they go. Well, that is one sick lad at the moment, Glenn Webb. The Welsh have lost two players. The game is going to resume with 14 players for Wales. Glenn Webb, who scored two tries, one on the left and one on the right in the first half. I don't think he knows whether he's in Clenethley or Palmerston North, actually, Keith, or Bridge End. Now, this uh, will be interesting to see how the Welsh react here. They're in possession here. Kevin Phillips. Richards. Tackled by Valu. It's twice now that uh, the referee, Mr. Bishop, has uh, blown his whistle as the ball has come out on the Tongan side. Crowd very pro Tonga. There's uh, Glenn Webb, he's uh, on his feet, but I don't think he'll take much more part in the game, which means Wales are going to have to finish with 14 men. They've, they've had two on already, and I think he's uh, lost some uh, dental work. Maybe Earl Curtin will get another call to go and help out. He's going to come on again. Yes, he is. Well, that's uh, very brave. He's not 100%. And the call of country is very strong. So 11 minutes left in this dramatic game at Palmerston North, where we've seen, I believe, the emergence of Tonga as a, a rugby force. They're not copybook, but they play with tremendous spirit. Jones, Jonathan Davis, ring, skip pass, Thorburn. Sami Mohi has wrenched it away for the Tongan team. Now a breaker, Liuba to the winger. Sami Mohi and Ring out to Webb. Let's see how he's feeling. Glenn Webb. Oh, beautiful. What a comeback. A try, a hat trick of tries for Glenn Webb. I still think he's not absolutely 100%, and you can see that. But uh, the instinct to play and play well is very strong in this man. Tonga were going so well, but suddenly it broke clear to Webb. And 60 metres out, he set off and sprinted clear and beat the fullback comfortably and then was in under the post unopposed. A hat trick for Glenn Webb. And you can see by the attentions of uh, Kevin Phillips that he is still not 100% happy. Thorburn adds the conversion, 29 points to 7.
So what a try for Webb. Davis. Jonathan Davis. Eight minutes left in this game. 29 to 7. Talai Papita. Leva'a. Skip pass to Etiaki in. Here's to Uta, who's been out in the centres. The flanker. Been out as an extra back most of the day. Leva'a again. Sami Mohi to Uta. Oh, look at the crashing play by the uh, Tongan team again. This is grand stuff from Tonga. They're not going to give in. They might be down by 29 points to 7, but they're not throwing in the towel at all. They're taking the fight to Wales. taken by Kutusi P. Alea. Man is still to try. That'll be a moment he'll never forget in rugby. Good throw in at halfway. Welsh team comfortably ahead on the scoreboard, but uh, I'm sure they won't be uh, pleased with their own performance. Having lost a couple of players and then Webb's injury. It really was an amazing comeback by Glenn Webb. He was involved in that uh, fearsome collision with the pullback. A dangerous tackle ruled by referee Bishop. And then after sitting out on the sideline, the man got back in the action. And he raced away for a try which showed tremendous skill. Even though he was feeling... Very, very poorly indeed. The, the man who was the last line of defence was in fact the prop forward, Lutour. And Webb in under the post for his third try. The Welsh record for tries in an international is four. And uh, Webb still holding his head over there. Kevin Phillips checking in on this injured man. I think this might be Tony Buchanan. Injured player is Hugh Richards. 29 to 7. Wales leading. It was 17-7 at half time. In the second half, we've had a Thorburn penalty. That's the one that took him past 100 points for Wales. Then the drop goal by Jonathan Davis. And try number three for Glenn Webb with the Thorburn conversion. This is a magnificent new structure built uh, at the side of the park here in uh, Palmerston North. Really making this a very fine rugby facility as well. So Hugh Richards off the field as well. Seven minutes to go in the game. And Wales are going to have some injury problems. This has been the battle of the showgrounds oval this afternoon. Two Tongans have gone off. Three Welshmen have gone off. Glenn Webb has gone off and come back on again. We've played 43 and a half minutes in this half already. Moniafi. Right near the corner flag. I don't think you would ever level any charges against the Welsh, apart from that uh, block tackle by Etiaki, that uh, any of the Tongan uh, or Welsh tactics have been uh, out of the uh, rule books today. They have played within the laws, but it's been very, very hard indeed. Richard Moriarty back to Jones. Lovely ball. Hopkins let it go. Tapaleti to Uta. Sami Mohi 
Oh, Kailai for feet of the halfback. Over halfway they come. Liaba, Budipola into Bakahalbalu. The replacement Liaba at the 22. Tonga rampaging here. Over the top. And it's Hopkins who takes it out. Well, he should have got back and saved it. He was the one that uh, let it go. And it was an amazing sight there because there were 13 Tongan players within a 10-metre radius and there was no one in the backs for them to get the ball to. They couldn't spin the ball to the left because there was only one man out there. They were all so interested in getting the ball, they didn't think about getting into position to take the play on. Look at this, this is Tauta who's been out in the centres all day. Mohi made a good catch, then Talai for feet to the halfback. And look at it, the Tongans getting in support of their man. Out it goes further along the chain, and they're all outside. Really keen, Liabar, the winger, Buni Polo. And this was a fantastic run. Valu, the captain, got crunched there in a tackle. And at this stage, from Liabar, they lost it. And uh, it comes scrabbling out at number 12. Look at them, the whole team just about is there. And uh, Kevin Hopkins happy to take it over the touchline. And we could see 12 players in, in that shot of the Tongans in full cry. And this man, Faka Halvalo, right in amongst it. Look at Jerry Fletcher giving a pat on the back and calling out to the Tongan team to stay with it. There are only five minutes to go, but uh, 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 more points on the board here for Tonga, I think, would bring the house down. Pitched over the back. Oh, and there is a collision between Leaba and now the big lock forward. Tonga Fassi has the ball. Tonga with it. Talai for Peter. Budipolo. Leaba. There's no way through there. They're 10 metres out. Talai for Peter again. Etiaki. Talai for Peter. And they are bringing the house down. Grand try, grand try. They have done themselves proud at the Palmerston North Showgrounds. Etiaki the fullback in, but there was much more to this try than just these last three passes. It was teamwork all the way, and Talai Fafita scores the try and starts the celebration. He scored a try against Wales in the international in Nukualofa last year, and he's made it a double with the try under the posts. Talai Fafita, the most famous player, they say, in all of Tonga. And I tell you what, up in the Friendly Islands at the moment, they'll be celebrating. They've played so well today. The left-footed Lieva. He's out of the points. 29 to 13. Look at this. Good. Good play by the referee. The advantage was uh, being played. Etiaki now walks away. The feeder comes in and over the top he goes. And he was going to get to that line if it killed him. And he did. Here it comes again. This is the moment, uh, along with the try they got near the end of the first half, that the Tongans can reach back and hold on to forever. Tremendous driving football by the Tongan team. And finally, it was their star player, Fafita, who was over. Wales kick out. 29 to 13, they're going to win the game, but really I think uh, in the hearts of the crowd today, there's uh, been only one team in it, a very, very brave performance from the team from the Friendly Islands, the South Pacific champions, and they've played their hearts out this afternoon on the showgrounds. Fafita, back to Lever. of course they must run it. Oh, Mohini passed into Fafita, and he is desperately disappointed that he didn't carry on that one. And this, Keith, is what the World Cup's all about. The teams that aren't expected to do very well are just taking the game to the big fish of the pool. Two and a half minutes left. Can we see anything else? in this dramatic pulsating game at Palmerston North this afternoon. Jones, away to Davis, the change of direction. Kevin Hopkins. Come on, come on, come on. 
Kutusi Pialea was the scorer at the first try. That's him with the ball on the far side. The Tonga have had some fine moments in rugby, but this will be one of them, even though they've lost the game. Just two minutes left. Just a little drop kick, and that's a beauty, isn't it? Baka Hobala with the ball. Talai Fafita. Into the number eight forward. Felice. Now the big lock for Cassifine. This is fantastic. Sami Mohi. Now the kick and chase. Robert Jones clears, and that's appropriate too, because if we're going to be fair about it, this has been the man who's been the architect of the Welsh victory today. A very fine game indeed from Robert Jones. So in the last minute, can Tonga go once more to the well? A long ball, pitched into the backs, to Leah Bar, into Fakahabala, what a match he's had. Talai for Peter again. Over the top, and here's the big drop for Nutua. What are they going to do? Are they going to have a driving charge at the line? The flying wedge? Let's see. No, nope. shot at goal. I, I think they've played their hearts out so much, Keith, that they just want to go off the field now and celebrate. Even though they didn't win, they gave Wales a big fright. 29-13, but that doesn't really tell the story because I don't think the Welsh team will be that happy with their performance. They've played some good rugby in parts, but at other times, as you said before, it's been Keystone cop stuff with um, mid-backline collisions, Thorburn seemingly in most of them. Other times, uh, just not look like an international side. All praise to Tonga. Time is up on the clock. Wales lead by 29 to 30. The match is over. What a game we've seen this afternoon at the Showgrounds Oval, Palmerston North. 29 to 16 it finished. And it was dramatic stuff. We had five players leave the field because of the bruising nature of the tackling. It was tough, hard going all the way. We had the Welsh scoring a hat-trick of tries from their winger, Glenn Webb. He was also injured and taken off, but came bravely back on. The Tongan team scored two fantastic team tries, Fia Lea and Fafita. And there's the star of the Welsh team today with his three tries, Glenn Webb. He's not very well indeed, and the Welsh won't be totally satisfied. But what a pulsating match it was, and what a beautiful, brave display by the Tonga team. Wales have beaten Tonga 29-16 in Palmerston North. A far from convincing performance for Wales, but they now have a perfect record in Pool 2. Two wins from two matches. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>